Alright guys, today we're going to figure out how to import a movie into GarageBand. So first of all, after you're done downloading your movie clip, you want to open up GarageBand. I already have mine open down here, but if you can't find it, you need to go up to the magnifying glass in the top right hand corner. This is called Spotlight Search. You can search for just about anything. So I'm going to start typing in GarageBand. The first hit, the top hit, is going to be GarageBand, the app. You want to double click on that and it will pop open this screen for you. On this screen you want to go to New Project and there's a host of different options. So we are obviously creating a movie today so you want to double click on the movie or then you can just click on it and then tap Choose. Then here's some important things. You need to label the file as your name because I need to know which project is yours. Secondly, you must save it into Documents. Otherwise, it may not save if it's in your Downloads folder. The computers in the computer lab are weird, so just make sure that it's in Documents. That's all you need to do. This doesn't make any sense to fuss with, so don't touch anything down there. And then hit Create. Okay, so what you have now in front of you is the GarageBand interface for desktop. The first thing that you have to do is import your movie. So hopefully you saved your movie to your downloads folder which you can find by accessing finder and then going to your documents I saved mine in my downloads folder so I just had a quick way to pull it up so I'm gonna drag my movie here and it's going to buffer it a little bit and then you have your movie ready in in um, GarageBand so your movie sound you really can even just click on it and delete it because it's it's silent to begin with so you don't even really need it you can just delete it if you want to so right here you have your movie and if you press the space bar it'll start playing your movie of course it'd be nice if you can see it right just tap on this and you can expand the size of this for how big you want it you can put it anywhere you want it's your preview you can play it again by pressing space and pausing it by pressing space again so now that you have your movie, you need to start putting in some audio. So I go down here to my audio viewer and I tap on loops. And I see the same sort of thing that we had in the iPad version, except they're actually going to label them um, in genres and in instruments here. So let's say for Star Wars, this clip, I want something cinematic. I'm going to go down here and kind of look through what I have and maybe play one. So if you click on it, it'll play. If you click on it again, it'll stop. So just like with the iPad, let's actually find one that sounds good. Okay, that sounds pretty good. So I'm going to use Super sta Stager. Super Stager, that's what it is. I'm going to drag it all the way up here. Now, you need to make sure that you're dragging the loop here. You don't want to put it here. But you can see how you can line up exactly where like you would want it to go with this red line up here. So again, you can pop this movie open and you can drag it and then the movie will change with wherever you drag it. You can also use your left and right arrows on your keyboard if you want to like go a little bit more in depth with the spot you want. So if you don't like where you place it, you move it a little bit to the right or the left. Simple as pie. So the more sound effects you add, you got to make sure that it's not going to be too chaotic with the sounds. So I'm just going to add some random sounds. I'm not even really going to check them. I'm just going to show you how this works. Here's another one. I'm put it there. It's not going to sound good. I'm just telling you. It might delay a little bit. You know, the spinning wheel of death. There it is. Just give it a second. You got that. Again, once you want to play your piece, you want to see it, hit the space bar. And you'll hear it with the movie along with the other clips. Actually, it wasn't too bad for a random pick. Okay? Now, once you have all of your music, again, put the music first. Once you have all of your music, you want to add in sound effects, which I believe with your updated iOS on the computers in the computer lab, your iOS actually has a category for sound effects down here. So you can pull from that. Um, if you want to create your own sound effects, there is a way to do that with the, with the recorder, with the microphone on your computer, and that's this button down here. 
I want to make sure that your metronome is turned off though because that's going to make a horrible clicking sound while you're recording. So make sure that that's gray and not blue. So let's say we get into this point of the film where they start talking. And I want to make sure I have my little screen open so I can see. So he's going to start talking. And I, I can pinpoint it now by moving it right to when he starts. So let's say I want to, I want to have him say, I would like a happy meal for lunch. I'm going to go down here and hit record. But first, you need to make sure that your track is going to let you do that. So watch. It already starts recording. Unfortunately, it doesn't keep anything because you need to add a new track. So you go up here and you go to new track. Now, from there, you want to pick real instrument, microphone, and create. And then that'll give you this. So now you can see over here that you actually have a feedback from all the audio. This is actually from me speaking, these green little bars moving up and down. So now, going back into where I'd like to have him start talking, I'm going to line it up again. There it is. I'm going to make sure that this is highlighted. If this is highlighted, it won't work. It has to be this track. I'm going to hit record, and it's going to record right away. So I have to start that line. I would like to order a Happy Meal. So now it looks like this. I would like to order a Happy Meal. Okay. So that's how you can record audio. I'm going to give you a tip, though. Um, while you are recording audio, live audio, you want to turn these off. Because otherwise it's going to pick up that in the background, and you want to have this track completely separate of these tracks. So you could even... To, to make that even simpler, just put the headphones on that track. That will isolate that track, so that is the only thing that you hear. So I, if I want to redo that again, because it had background noise, here's how it would sound. Hey, hey, my head is just hurting. I need some Tylenol. So now there is no music behind it. Hey, hey, my head is just hurting. I need some Tylenol. And there you go. That's how you add dialogue in. Again, if you want to add sound effects in with your voice, you can do the same thing. Um, if you want to keep your track separate, like one track for speaking and then one track for sound effects, you could even create a new track. And then, again, just make sure it's on the microphone and hit create. And that will pop up an, a new track for you. So, you are finished when your entire clip has music, sound effects, and dialogue. So you have a lot to do. You want to make sure that every sound effect is filled in and do the best you can with the time that we have obviously but you know things like when they shoot their guns or when he stops the laser when they pull him up when they hit him you know stuff like that stuff that you might not think of when he's walking those are really minute details um, but if you have any questions just let me know if this is a very fun piece of software to work with now that you have the desktop version um, there may be some differences over here in terms of uh, what version you have. Mine is very old. This, this GarageBand has not been updated in a while. I believe the ones in the computer lab are more updated than mine. So if there are differences, just ask. And if you have any questions about like where to find loops and sound effects, just ask me as well.